Hi there, my name is Stabby, and today I'm going to show you how to activate and configure channel points to your channel on Twitch. Let's get right to it. Alrighty, so the first thing you need to do is log into Twitch. Once you're logged in, just go to your little icon at the top right here, click on that, and in the drop down, click Creator Dashboard. When this page loads up, go to the top left of this screen right by Stream Manager and click on this little hamburger. Click on Community and go down to Channel Points. And that's where it lives. All you need to do to activate Channel Points is click this little ticker right here. And there you have it. But now that we have it activated, we can still do a couple more things to customize it to our channel. So we'll go to Customize Points Display and hit Edit. Here we can change the name of the points and we can also give the points a picture. So I'm going to call mine stab, uh, stab uh, coins. Because, uh, you know, the whole stabby thing. So we're going to hit save. And they are now called stab coins. After naming it, we can add a picture to make it stand out a little bit more, depending on what you want your uh, channel points to look like. So all you need to do is get a picture that's 28 by 28, 56 by 56 and 112 by 112 that are the exact same picture and I can show you how I got these um, in a different video if you want me to do that just let me know in the comments below so you just need to take that and drag it over for 28 do the same thing for 56 and 112 and you've got your points and hit save all right then we'll go back and then we'll manage the rewards this is the place where all your redemptions live. You can either use the custom ones that Twitch has provided you, or you can create your own. But we're going to start with the default rewards. I don't use the sub-only mode, so I'm going to turn it off. You can do that by going over to the check mark here and clicking it, and then it won't show up for your viewers anymore. And then, under a highlighted message, I want that to be a little bit cheaper for my viewers, so I'm going to go into Edit. Once this comes up, you can go over to Cost and change it to whatever you want. Note that Twitch does let you know how many average points per hour the viewers get, and they also have a recommended cost per default redemption item. Hi Norbert. You can also change the picture, uh, just like we did with the channel points. But since I don't have a picture handy, I'm just going to change the color. So we're going to do a nice green. Make sure if you're going to make any changes, you hit save. Now that we've taken a look at the default rewards, let's look at the custom ones, the ones that we can make and the ones that we can get creative with. You just need to click on Add New Custom Reward here. So let's add a custom reward for my viewers. We're going to call this one Stabby Dance. And what I'm going to do is dance around like an idiot whenever someone redeems this. So uh, let's describe that. Let's just say Stabby will dance around like an idiot when you redeem this. What dance would you like? And we will make them require text because I need to know which dance they want me to do. And now we need to figure out how much we want our viewers to have to save up to use these rewards. Because I don't want to be dancing around like an idiot for my entire stream, I'm going to set this one at 2500. Now that we have that set, we can scroll down and take a look at the rest of it. Much like the other couple times, you can drag an image to closer identify which reward this is. You can also change the background color. But I've already went over those ones, so I won't explain it again. This one will basically let new requests skip the line and get to the front. And this one will limit the redemptions per stream. So if I don't want to dance at all, I'm going to set it to a big fat zero. Doesn't let me. Okay, we'll do it to one. Make sure that if you're going to be doing any changes, you remember to save. Otherwise, you'll have to do it again. Alright, I think that about covers it. Thanks for watching. Now that you know how to do it, I suppose it's time for you to take a stab at it yourself. If you found this video helpful at all, definitely consider liking. And so you don't miss any future streaming software tutorials, definitely subscribe to the channel. If you want to see how I'm using my channel points and all kinds of other cool effects, you're always welcome to come by my Twitch channel. That's at twitch.tv stabstream. I'll see you there.